Hello everyone, my name is Jeff, and this is Jeff Ball's Photography Channel, and thank you for so much for stopping by. I just wanted to say, in light of everything that's going on, that I hope you are well, I hope you, your loved ones are well, and we're praying for the health of the world. This is just a crazy time that we're in. Having said that, we are going to have some great skies here uh, over the next three or four nights. And I'm in my backyard. We're going to make the best of it. It is near a full moon. We have a lot of things planned for you for just this one night. So uh, thanks for uh, joining us. And again, my prayers are with you and your loved ones. Let's get into some fun here tonight. Hopefully this is a little bit of a, an escape for you from all the news of the world. Thanks for joining us. And uh, I hope you enjoy the show tonight. Tonight we have a really cool conjunction of Venus with the Pleiades. And by the time you watch this, it will have already passed. Um, this is April 2nd, and it'll be happening over the next two nights. I hope you knew about it, and I hope you had clear skies and had a chance to get out and really take it in, because it's going to be a pretty cool conjunction. So we're going to use the uh, Red Cat 51, the ultimate portable astrophotography setup to do this capture tonight. It should be a pretty simple capture. I'm not sure. Uh, of course, no guiding or tracking. I think it'll be a fairly short exposure for Venus within the Pleiades. And, but it's a pretty unique occurrence. I read where it happens every eight years. So that's what we're going to do here with the Red Cat. So now follow me up. We have so much going on tonight. Of course, we're around a full moon. And we're going to do a couple of things. I get so many questions asked about visualizing the comet. Comet 2019 Y4 Atlas. So tonight we are going to... Even with the full moon up, we're going to try to use my trusty old 8-inch Dobsonian to get a good view of the comet tonight. And I'll give you a report. Now, I don't have a way to show you that live image that I'm capturing, but I'll just give you a feedback on that. And then, of course, even with the full moon now, we're able to build some data. I have some great M51 data. Tonight, we're going to do some hydrogen alpha filter data to combine with our RGB and really accentuate the uh, M51. We've got some really solid data coming. So it's a big night. Thanks for joining me and we'll update you throughout the night. playing around with a lot of different type exposures with the Venus and uh, Pleiades. I've really been doing mostly under three second shots. So I'm just playing around here. We're just playing around with the exposure. It's digital. It's great. It's fun. And it's just a really great uh, conjunction that's happening. I hope you're, I hope you had the opportunity to see it. Quarantine Star Party 2020 is actually official. We have virtual presentations today, courtesy of Neef Virtual Online. I'm watching Janny Rat Ratabow present the Dragonfly mission to Saturn's moon Titan. And it's probably one of the most exciting missions that's uh, really out there on the calendar and going to be taking place. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope you had a chance to catch Neef Virtual Online to complete your Star Party weekend. I hope you really had a chance to see the Venus Pleiades conjunction that was April 2nd. That was last night for me. 
I really wish I had the capability to give my subscribers an update on things to look for in the sky. Hopefully as my subscriber base grows, we can give you things like that so you don't miss out on those opportunities. But I hope you had a chance to catch it. It's a fantastic view, especially in binoculars. It's gonna happen again tonight, April 3rd. A little bit different. Of course, Venus is moving against the star field. It's actually gonna be within the cluster tonight. I think last night was probably the better composition outside of the cluster, just below it. But we're gonna still take a shot at it tonight and see what that looks like. I'm gonna call this the unofficial 2020 quarantine star party. I hope it's the first and last edition. We're still gonna capture some images tonight. We're gonna do hydrogen alpha with the 130 EDF. We're still supplementing our galaxy data with some hydrogen alpha data. That'll help those red areas of nebulosity pop. And I'm gonna give it another shot to try to find the comet visually. I'm not the best visual astronomer, but, uh, and I didn't have, have very good success last night with the eight inch or the binoculars. But we're gonna give that another try tonight and see if we can't find Comet Atlas. I think the moon's a little bit of a problem. And if you're just watching this, uh, say somewhere after April, April 3rd, hopefully the comet's brightening, the moon is getting out of the way and it starts to become a lot easier to find in seven by 50 binoculars and telescopes, and hopefully soon even naked eye. In the meantime, if you're not using an app as your uh, planetarium software, I encourage you to use Sky Safari. I don't get any reimbursement on that, but you're gonna need some reference. There are plenty of online references that show star charts where the, yeah, the comet is uh, from each succeeding day, but I encourage you, please download any astronomy app, it doesn't matter, but I know Sky Safari has Comet Atlas in the database and that's a great one to see exactly where the comet is hour by hour, minute by minute. So we're gonna dive into tonight and let's see what we get into. Just completed our first image of the night on M81. Again, this is just a hydrogen alpha. So hopefully you can see the, the streams of the hydrogen alpha here that really start to pop out on the, the arms of the galaxy M81. And this was a 15 minute exposure and everything looks really good. I'm very happy with how this is working out. Of course, we have a pretty bright moon out tonight and that's why we're doing this hydrogen alpha exposure. And I'm also very happy to report that I did spot the comet. It's pretty tough, to be quite honest, underneath these conditions. And, but what you can tell is it's just a diffuse glow. There's nothing stellar about it. The nucleus is not bright like a star, but it's just a diffuse glow that you can see pop out. So it's a in the 7x50 binoculars, I saw those in the Fujinon 7x50s. I'm going to try in the telescope a little bit later to see if I can pull it in there. Now, really got things dialed in on imaging M51, and this is again that hydrogen alpha centered um, line that we're working on, and pretty happy with what we're getting here in raw footage. Everything in difficulty goes up when you increase focal length and exposure times. This is a 15 minute exposure. I'm going in sets of four. I've done a gain of 150. You can see my temperature. Hope we get about three hours of this tonight, finishing up and add this to some RGB that I have on M51 already tucked away. So this is supplemental hydrogen alpha data channel as the quarantine star party 2020 continues. Just wrapped up the M51 hydrogen alpha for the evening. 
This will be the last image of the evening. I wish we had more time. Just running out of day, running out of night time. We are heading into astronomical twilight, but these images just kept getting better throughout the night. This will not be the final image on this video. That'll be on a separate video to come. So look at that coming in the future, but this data looks really good. Okay, that's a wrap on what I'm gonna call Quarantine Star Party 2020. First and last edition, let's say. It's about 5.45 in the morning. We had two straight nights. I'm kind of wiped out, but it was a really cool two nights here in the backyard. The highlights, the Venus Pleiades conjunction was just spectacular. I hope you had a chance to view it. It was a fantastic binocular sight. The other highlights were obviously catching some hydrogen alpha data on M51 and M81, two great galaxies, and visually, finally, visually seeing the comet 2019 Y4 Atlas. I recommend seven by 50 binoculars, get to as dark a side as you can. It hopefully will be improving. This is April 3rd, so over the next few weeks, it'll definitely be getting brighter and easier to see. Dark adapt your eyes, get away from as much moon as you can. So stay away from bright moons and pay attention to the star charts. Get you a Sky Atlas, a planetarium program for your phone, download it, follow it, get familiar with the sky. Right now, it's just a diffuse glow that really showed up once I started to really get familiar with the sky. So it took me a couple of nights to really dial in. The telescope view was okay, but I really prefer the binocular view, mostly for comets. So that's my update from the Star Party, Quarantine Star Party 2020. And uh, until next time, clear skies. Tiger, call me out, why don't you laugh? Lift me up higher, above the clouds, won't you laugh? When the scenery is right, go right in, I want to fall deep within. Don't leave me hanging Just cause I'm too proud Whisper away My outdated